I walk with God the Father, I walk with God the Son, I walk with God the Spirit, three of them join, I get back in love, I get back in, I know the walk alone, yeah, yeah. I walk with God the Father, I walk with God the Son, I walk with God the Spirit, three of them joy, I get back in, I get, I get back in, I know the walk alone, I shine every day, I shine morning, afternoon, I shine evening, night, Big of them joy, and I get back in, I get back in, I know the walk alone. Yeah, my victory day sure. I'm winning every day. I day with Son of God. Hey, I get back in you know. I get, I get, I get back in. I know the walk alone. Hey, I walk with God the Father. I walk with God the Son. I walk with God the Spirit. Three of them join, I get back in I get back in I know they walk alone Yeah, I get I get back in I know they walk alone I get back in I get, I get, I get back in I know the walk alone. Why? I walk with God the Father. I walk with God the Son. I walk with God the Spirit. Three of them join. I get back in. I get back in. So I know the walk alone. I get back in. I get, I get, I get back in. I know they walk alone. If you try to get to me, you get through the Father, you get through the Son, you get through the Spirit. I get them three, I get back in home. Now three of them join. So I know they walk alone. I get back in home. I get back in home. I get back in, I know they walk alone. Welcome once again, it's your favorite program, a chapter a day. On here we get to know we are in Christ, the power we possess, the things we should or should not do, so that we can live a successful Christian life here on earth and end up spending eternity with God in heaven. Heaven in view, that's the whole idea. Of course, we desire to know who we are in Christ, and then we get to serve God diligently. You know, the Bible says that the reward of them that diligently seek him. So, I'm very, very excited. Like, when you're a child of God, you are actually backed up by God. You're covered by God. And so you can't be touched. You're unstoppable. If you get through some difficult situations, God allowed it. And like he said, Everything is working out for your good. I mean like every single thing, everything excluding nothing. So even that thing that looks like the baddest of the baddest of the baddest of the craziest things that is happening to you right now, God is going to use that to work for your good. You had better believe it. Believe it like your, I mean like, what is it? You know your name, right? Nobody can just come out of nowhere, out of the blues and tell you that your name is not yours. And you're just going to fall for it, right? Nobody can toss you to and fro with your name. Nobody can toss you to and fro with your age, right? Yeah. That's how you should believe the word of God as well. When you see what the word of God says concerning you, concerning a matter or a situation in your life, boom, that's how you should hold on to it. Like you know your name, like you know your date of birth, like you know your age, like there are just some things that are just so clear and so perfect. Like you can't be mistaken. That's it. That's how you hold on to the Word of God. On here, we also create an audio Bible in the process to make sure that you can study the Word of God because the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. And of course, we believe that if you listen to the Word of God continuously, it's going to grow your faith. And as you listen to the Word, 
you don't only hear it you know god doesn't want us to only be hearers of the word he wants us to be doers of the word as well because in doing the word comes some blessings and i'm sure you want those blessings i don't know about you but i do i want the blessings that come with um doing the word of god so of course i get to do my best to do as much as god will want me to so let's get on today our bible party is taken from the book of psalm 85 how many verses does that have again oh my this is freezing on us please don't do that don't freeze up on us hope you guys can hear me perfectly because i don't even know if this is as clear as it's supposed to be and welcome to everybody who is on here today hope your weekend is going great mine has been exceptional so far i've had a great time up until now you know um we had our single prayer today and it was really good really nice our leader is very good and god has blessed him so psalm 95 our bible party is taken from the book of psalm 95 and psalm 95 has 11 verses so it's going to be like technically a short one and then we're going to go on with what we have for today so normally we hand over the session to god birthday shout out birthday prayer and then bible party and then praying for those that god tells us to pray for them or praying for a certain subject or issue that god will have us pray for and then we appreciate god i always tell you guys why do we appreciate god because he always gives us the best and for that we are eternally grateful every single day when we come on here god gives us nothing short of the best nothing short of the best i can assure you i can promise you because like i said sometimes i might not even know what i'm saying but up until i'm editing these videos and i'm listening and i'm looking at the thing and i'm like what god really said this you know like he used me to say this like god allowed me to say this you know you know that there's some things like in your life as much as you've confessed you've repented you've gotten over them you kind of technically feel embarrassed about the things and so sometimes you really don't want to talk about them like that kind of talk about them me though i used to be like that sometime until god actually helped me so i really don't want to talk about them like that but god will actually push me to talk about them and sometimes when i'm struggling and struggling and struggling he'll still find a way and push me and i'll end up talking about it <laughs> So that's really good. So let's pray and hand over the session to God. Lord, we thank you for this day that you've made. We rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for your mighty and your protection, provision, and guidance. We thank you for love. We thank you for all that you've done, you're doing, and you're still to do in our lives and in the lives of our loved ones, in the lives of our friends, relatives, our parents, in and out of the nation. Lord, we're forever grateful. We say thank you. Increase while we decrease. So it's going to be you and you alone that will be seen, felt, heard, and experienced throughout this edition of the chapter a day. Let me totally and completely fizzle out, oh God. None of me. Let it be you and you alone. Everybody who is going to be ministering here today, give them a mouth and a word of a learner to write and speak. To speak and write a word in season to the hearts that are waiting, oh God, and desiring and expecting, oh God. Father, the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut short. That's what your word says. That's exactly what we're going to experience today on the chapter today. Lord, I decree and declare from east, west, north, south, from back and center, any single person that has been preordained and predestined to be a part of the chapter today, today, oh God, they're going to be here. No manipulation from the pit of hell is going to stop them. Nothing will make them to lose their blessing. That every single person who has been ordained to listen to this particular edition so that they can be blessed, so that they can be transformed so that they can be enlightened so that they can be directed so that they can be liberated oh god so that they can overtake lord they would be present and they will listen and that which you've planned and purpose for their lives will come to manifestation in the mighty name of jesus in jesus name we pray and all the saints shall say a ginormous amen amen and amen amen people so now let's get to the birthday party. On the birthday party, we get to say happy birthday to some people. The first person is Ma'am Mavis Ose. Ma'am Mavis Ose, I got to know her when, when, um, when I was in Ghana. We're in the same church together. She was in the choir. She sings so beautifully. And then she had this little baby boy. We call him Ogiriba. He's so, he's so cute and so handsome. He was actually the choir baby because 
literally they gave birth to him when I was there and so he was just lovable everybody always wanted to carry him he had this really chubby joys and all those kinds of things yeah my Mavis is very one very really amazing person I got to know her as well and like I said you know people always have a way with me when it comes to food she gave me a lot of delicious deals uh, of dishes I enjoyed a lot of um, nice Ghanaian meals when it comes to my Mavis so when the choir together, that was really actually the best part. I really loved it. And then myself and her kid sister, we really became really, really good friends as well. So thank you so much for being an amazing person, Ma'am Mavis Osei. And then the next person is Ma'am Epange Lydia, Mrs. Wake. Wake. Hope I pronounced that right. If not, forgive me. AKA Epekepex. This is my pretty, amazing, wonderful Bafasi sister. We actually got connected when we were in secondary school. Like, we went to the same secondary school together. We both um, studied at Seca Baptist College. Her smile is way brother, and she has this really awesome dental formula. Oh my God. And Mom Lydia, this girl can make you literally laugh your hearts out. You will laugh until, like, <laughs> And she'll be putting a straight face here. Like she can make you laugh. She can make the environment really, really welcoming and really jovial and really bubbly. Like that's the kind of person I've known her to be. And she has not changed from that though. She has not changed from that. So we kind of disconnected when I left and went to a different high school. And then we reconnected again on Facebook. And then later on we got to reconnect fully on our social media platform, on our external association group. Happy birthday to you, Ma'am Lydia. And then the next person is Mom Oded Annie Abia. Mrs. right now. She's Mrs. I've forgotten the Mrs. the Mrs. name. But she's a Mrs. right now. And these are some of the people that we 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 stood our grounds together. We're going all on and preaching about sexual purity and holding on and trusting God. And God came through for her. Like we're we're like five no no not five of us we're like seven of us seven of us and it has been step 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 and it has been beautiful so you see these people and you know you know how when elijah was bothered and he was saying that lord i'm alone and then the lord said no you're not alone i have seventy thousand other men that you don't know that they exist right that's how i used to be at some point and i'm like lord this sexual purity is thing i go fit so and then he's like and it looks like it's only me god would this even work out like he said there are many more people and then i got to join this um i got to know her in this group where one of my friends inspired grizel you all know her she has been here she also has a page on facebook that i always refer you guys to so she created the group she was the ceo and founder of one accord sisters and there we used to come together pray together say the challenges that we young um, ladies have especially single ladies you know and all that and we're trying to come together we say how we we overcome our challenges and stuff and the things we go through and the strategies that God give us and that's where we learned and we're growing together and of course today we can see the fruits yes she's a missus a missus to a strong wonderful man of God who loves God with a passion see when you stay in the place of purpose and you're doing life the God's way it's going to turn out beautiful for you She's a woman who loves God with a passion. She doesn't mince words. She'll say it straight up. If it's okay, it's okay. If it's not okay, she'll tell you straight up that she's not, it's not okay. She's not going to try to pamper or turn things around or something. No. No. She will tell you that this one, ah, 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 princess, you missed it. She, this one, oh, yeah, princess, you got it right. And you need those kind of people around you, you know, like, hmm, sometimes... When they are only there and then they are just doing praise, 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 praise. They will praise you to error. Sometimes you need those people that will be able to tell you straight when you miss it that, no, princess, you're not getting it right. See, I have enough, I mean, a lot of these people around me, and I'm grateful to God for them. I am grateful. If, if, if he has to do praying with me, if he has to do praying for me, if he has to do interceding for me, if he has to do correcting me, they'll correct me with straight chairs. They are not smiling. If he has to do, they go pam pam me go pass. I have them. Now bless you know, it's a blessing. It's a blessing to have such people. Happy birthday to you, ma'am. Odette, Annie, Abia. Uh, Mrs. Mrs. Odette. 
Okay, the last but not the least is Ni Divine Chamukong. Oh my God. Ni Divine Chamukong, I've always loved him. Like, he's one media person that has actually intrigued me, like, since when I was young. My dad also used to like him, so we used to listen to his programs a lot on CRTV. Like, me, I don't like radio and all these things, but when he was doing his programs, I was always kind of, like, listening because I really liked him. Can you imagine, like, I got to meet him in a group where I was at it. We were talking about something. I can't remember what it was. But sometimes they get to encourage me to, to join some particular groups. And I joined the groups, and God just makes me connect to some particular people. And then at some point, he'll remove me from the group. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so sometimes I don't remain on the group. He just puts me there, and then I connect. So when I connected with him, oh, my God, it was so beautiful. You know that kind of when you're looking forward to, like, you really revere this person, you're looking up to this person, and then you come and meet them. Oh my God. The first day we spoke, there was just this connection and this click. The next thing, boom, he was carrying me to his platform and like, oh, tell us your story. You're really one profound young lady and everything. I'm like, oh yeah, my daddy used to like you so much. We used to listen to you a lot and CRTV, and he's really an amazing media person. He is just so good. And Soul Africa, um, Chad Knight Africa. Chad Knight Africa is his platform. And he actually created this part of Chad Knight Africa where you showcase Africa the way. You know, a lot of times we complain that um, the way the West is projecting Africa to the world, they are not projecting it right. But you don't expect people to project your thing for you. You project what you want us to know. If you want us to see the good side of Africa, project the good side of Africa. Even some of us, the Africans, who are the ones destroying ourselves because we go projecting ourselves like some poor, wretched people, and then people believe that we're poor and wretched, and then we're complaining. Who told them that? You! You're begging for money, you're trying to cajole people, you're trying to lie to them, so you go and put some pictures in some kinds of places that are not even real, like you just want to remove money, you just want to siphon money from some people. And then you begin to project Africa like that, you begin to project some countries like that, in that whole beautiful, bright continent. And then you start complaining, why people think that we live on trees, why people think that we're, we're staying under, I don't know, it's just crazy. So, he has this platform where he showcases Africa the way we want it to be just showcased. Like the right way. We want people to see the beauty of Africa, of that beautiful continent. We want people to see it. So, he has a platform where he showcases that there. And it's really, really beautiful to watch. So, go there, follow him, and do all that needs to be done. And come and thank me later. That's it for the birthday, people. Happy birthday, Mom Mavis Ose. Happy birthday, Mom Lydia Etange. Happy birthday, Mom Odette Anyi Abia. Happy birthday, Ni Divine Chamuko. God bless you all. So, guys, it's birthday prayer. We are praying for every single person who is born today. And yes, that's why some people get surprised that. Even a day when we don't have anybody in the birthday book we're praying. Of course, because like I always say, we're not just praying but only for the people in the birthday book, guys. We're praying for every single person who is born on a particular day. So whether you're on the birthday book or not, this prayer is also for you. That's the whole idea. Okay? Do you guys understand me by any means? Like, do you understand what I'm saying here? Because sometimes people are surprised. And they're like, oh, if you... You're still praying today. I thought you said there's nobody in the birthday book. Of course, there's nobody in the birthday book, but there are people who were born on that day, so we got to pray for them. Like that. That's how we roll on the chapter a day. Okay, guys, so let's go. Let's pray for these people and get this Bible party out of the way. Yeah. And get this birthday party out of the way and start off with the Bible party. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for adding a new year to the lives of all these amazing people who are born today, O oh God. Father, we pray, O oh God, that you're going to open the windows of heaven and pour out the choices of your blessings upon their lives and rebuke every devourer in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you bless them with blessings beyond their reasonable understanding. Cause them to increase in wisdom and stature, getting favor before God and before men. Lord, I pray that that gift will make a way for them, causing them to stand before kings, not before me, men. Lord, I pray you cause them to be trailblazers, space setters, 
and world changers in the mighty name of Jesus. Give them all that it takes to go and conquer their world in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you're going to open their eyes so that they're going to be able to see those they're supposed to help. And they'll strategically position themselves to help these people when the time is right and however they have to help them in whatever way. And you're also going to strategically position their own destiny helpers on here, Lord, so that when they also need help, help is going to be made available to them instanta. Lord, we say thank you. We bless your holy name, O oh God. Father, we pray, O oh God, that you're going to bless your children inside out, O oh God, all to the glory of your name. That you're going to favor them, O oh God. Lord, they are going out and coming in will be blessed, O oh God. Whatever the lady hands on will prosper. Wherever they tread their feet upon, Lord, give it to them as a possession. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. We're forever grateful. Perfect all that concerns them. Give them a sound 126 state, a state of continuous laughter, singing, rejoicing, dancing, celebration, and all good things that can be. Lord, we know you're a faithful father, and so we say thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for what you've done, what you're doing, and what you're still to do in our lives, and the lives of those who are close to us, our loved ones. We bless your holy name, O oh God. Father, we pray that you divinely connect them to people and things that will cause them to be their best and stand for your glory. And divinely disconnect them from people and things that will cause them to retrogress or stagnate. Lord, I pray that you are going to lift them, cause them to get to the top and not only get there, but to get there and be able to stay there permanently. Because it's one thing to get to the top, it's another to stay there permanently. And of course, you're the one who lifts one up and brings down another. So Lord, help each and every one of them to stay humble so that you're going to continuously raising them. Because your word says you give grace to the humble and you bring down the proud. So Lord, I pray that your grace is going to be sufficient for these ones even as they get on. Lord, you add them many more years to their days, all to the glory of your name. Lord, let them be a blessing in their generation and beyond. As this blessing encompasses them as a sheer round about, let no weapon form the fashion against them prosper. And any tongue that rises against them in judgment, Lord, you shall condemn in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you're going to perfect all that concerns them, O oh God. Open doors for them that no man can shut, and shut every door that is not opened by you. Lord, bless them morning, afternoon, evening. Bless them every moment, all for your glory. Thank you, Lord God, for hearing and answering us. Let the path be shining right on, right on to the perfect day. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that your light, your word is going to be a lamp unto their feet and a light to their part, guiding and directing them so that they will not stray their part. Lord, even as they are fulfilling purpose, if they get to a place where they feel overwhelmed, they feel like they want to give up or back out, they'll hear a clean, loud, clear voice that's going to say, this is the way walk thou in it. They'll not drill, they'll not stray, they'll stay of course, all to the glory of your name. Thank you, ever-living Father, because we know you always hear and answer. For in Jesus' mighty and blessed name, we pray with thanksgiving and all the saints shall say dynamos amen let money meet money in their pockets blesses me blesses in their lives favor means favor in their lives even as you feel them with the garment of praise on and favor in jesus mighty and blessed name we pray amen amen and amen but i sing the amen 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 amen, amen. let it be so amen 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 in their life Amen. As we have prayed, Amen. Let it be in the last silver prayers. Amen. 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 With the blood of Jesus. Amen. Let it be so. Amen. In the last as we pray. Let it be so. Amen. In the last as we pray. God bless you all tremendously. May you fill your bands with all good things and large your coast. And do for you that which no man can do but you. I always get to say I love you so very much, but God loves you way, way more. Have a blast. Happy birthday. Bisous, bisous. Joyeux anniversaire à tout le monde. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Dennis. Welcome, Mom. Mag. Welcome, Minister Mag. Welcome to the to the part of a chapter a day today we are glad to have you we are glad that you're here so it's time for the bible party guys we have to read the bible 
and we have to mute the noise as much as possible we gotta mute this noise as much as possible so we're gonna take out the fans for a while I'm a fan person I'm not I'm not an AC person people think me weird but it's just the truth like AC makes me feel like I'm going to get a cold but fan it's okay <gasps> It's a village girl. <laughs> so our Bible party is taken from the book of Psalm 95. And it has 11 verses. Are you guys ready for this? I'm ready as I can be. Are you ready? Let me mute out the noise. Great is your faithfulness. That's better, right? The sound is gone. Is it better now? I hope so. Okay, so let's go. Ready or not, here I come. Psalm 95. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are... Sorry, I missed that. I'm so sorry. You all forgive me. Psalm 95. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Dennis already. Grandpa, you have been missing. Welcome on board. These people don't want me to read this. We're trying as much as possible to mute every noise because uh, editing this is not very easy. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're starting over. Psalm 95. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands formed the dry land. Oh come let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker for he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if he will hear his voice, harden not your heart, as in the provocation and in the day of temptation, in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, It is a people that do err in their heart. And they have not known my ways, unto whom I swear in my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. This is the word of the Lord, and all the saints shall say a ginormous thanks be to God. Can I put my fan on right now? Or is the sound of the fan too much? <laughs> okay, maybe I can just use my... Oh, my portable fan is not here either. Okay, so let's go. What did you learn? What did you learn? What did you learn? <gasps> this is the psalm of praise. Uh, it's the psalm of praising, praises, praises, praises. We're well, giving praise unto God. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord. 
Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord. Sing to the Lord. <laughs> it's praise Princess. God, people. Praise God is a, you, it's a beautiful thing. Do you, do you know this other one? I will sing unto the Lord, a joyful song. I will praise His name, for the Lord is good. I will sing unto the Lord, a joyful song. I will praise His name, for the Lord is good. I will sing unto the Lord, a it's good to praise God, honestly. Like, praising God is a beautiful thing. I wish we get to really understand, like, the beauty in praising God. Like, should I say so, so soothing it is? I don't even know how to explain it. Sometimes I say it's, it's so hard for me to explain because I know the, the feeling, but I don't know how to put those feelings to words because my words might not do justice to the feeling. <laughs> I'm telling you you words there are no words to really do justice to how you feel when you're in the presence of god when you're worshiping god when you like Ay, baba with the pampa. Ay. like it's just so beautiful the experience eh? i said well we're always in that kind of place eh? i just want the world to pause like it just feels like god more just stay for you be one temple for me one for you one <laughs> you know how peter said god I, I, cannot, I cannot blame I Peter. Cannot, I cannot blame Peter as well. Yeah. I didn't want to come down from let's the mountain this last time. I did not want here. to. God, let's like, be, maybe we'll just just stay here. This level of glory here. Yeah. I, 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 I wanted to say, Papa, let's just go to Friday, but I know him now. So me, I just held my mouth shut. I just came down. I know. Oh, see, it's beautiful. Being in the presence of God is a very beautiful thing. It's so special. Like when you're there with your whole heart, when you're there to really commune with your father, to really have this special moment with you, you would love it. You would love it, child of God. Oh, come to the Lord. You, you praise him through whatever problem. Look, I started my journey sick. I was sick. Can you and he said, just praise me. He said, just praise me. I didn't drink no water, no tablet, no nothing. Only praise and pray. Can you imagine? By, by, by 4 p.m., I was fine. I was just weak of body, but I was fine in my spirit. I wasn't even worried about the thing anymore. Can you this is me today. This is me. Come alive and kick it. Ah, ah, ah. God's ah, ways, eh? God's ways ah, are just awesome. It says, sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise. It says, one man of God said something, and it's very, it's very interesting. You see, he says, sometimes they will sit in church and the man of God will just be preaching, preaching, and then all of a sudden they will just say, shout hallelujah. And some people are acting. Some people are feeling too big to shout hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Which one, like, you, what do you understand by joyful noise? Because it, if, it's like, if, I don't understand. Even in the cars that were passing, oh, who knows? Somebody might be just being the spirit and then they just, oh. <laughs> See, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. It could be a shout of praise. It could be a shout of victory. Imagine these people walking around a building. Now, which kind of war strategy is this now? I say, you're going for battle. You need to carry bomb. You need to carry explosive. You need to carry mm. one an AK-47 or an AKA character 7 or How do they call that? I don't forget whichever one it is. You're not carrying bullets. You're not carrying guns. You're not carrying weapons. You only need to go work out for that building for seven days, number six, six days. When I need to talk nothing, you're not even talking to nobody. Like you people for six days. Now which battle strategy? That I think now which kind of battle strategy be that? Then last day, I think it's not enough. After when I don't stupefy when I say turn around that building for six days without That's talking. That sounds like people. Hey, Papa God, you said now wow. <laughs> now for you. I see the things of God are foolishness to man. But when yeah, you begin exactly. to obey and do them, <laughs> you will know that that thing that seems foolish eh, was the best 
strategy that could i could imagine how they walked around that place for six days they did look well so eh, they never even see one small crack the description of how big that wall was you see how sometimes eh, god knows that eh, is this our very mouths that we use to destroy the things that he has said he will give to us you see this um what's that man's name eh? the one that they muted him he that yeah, and the wife goes okay, Zachariah. To, Zachariah. Papa Zaka. Papa Zaka. <laughs> Zachariah had already started asking some questions that were not even funny. They just said, Papa, just should not be quiet before you cancel the blessing. Just should not quiet. May the blessing can pass. They, some of us say, We need muting. God needs for mutiny. As in, we don't have any positive things to say about ourselves. <laughs> Look, you say, Praise God for what? Somebody will say for what? <sighs> like for all their 33 years, there's nothing God has done for them. I'm telling you. Even without doing something, they are even alive at that 33. I say praise, let us praise God. Say for what? Wonderful. I'm like, <laughs> some people really wow me. I, I, even when I was not born again, at least there were some things that I was, you know that kind they say you fear God more. I say, you do not fear God fully, but you fear God small. You know, you know that at least there is God and He's doing something. Like, how how does it even make a joyful noise? Joyful noise is victory, it's gladness, it's happiness. It's not, it's not um, it's not negativity, it's not bitterness. Sing unto the Lord a joyful song. Ah, hey. Praise Jehovah. Come, let's praise the Lord. Come, let's praise Jehovah. Come, let's praise El Shaddai. Come, let's praise the Lord. Oh, see, please. I cannot let's wait for tomorrow. I cannot wait for tomorrow. <laughs> ah, yeah. I say, if I go to church only for the praise and worship, I'm good. I'm telling Aye. you. That, that thing can go on for one hour, two hours. I want that noise. I want I'm it. I'm telling you. Sometimes Some people want to go where there is quiet. Uh, hey, me, I want better one. It's my month of just dancing and celebrating. It's just dancing and celebrating. Yes. I don't. I. I. I am just dancing. I don't get nothing for us from God. Though. Just be dancing and celebrating. Well, being alive is that not enough? We all wait here again. Ooh. Be healthy. If they give you everything and you are sick, you're in the hospital, what will you do with those things? My sister, people, they will they pay oxygen. You now it is the breeder for free. Mm. See, and they, not people who have even died because they could not get oxygen. They won't mm. pay. They won't pay. They don't get, they die. We are alive. Say, we'll do it. Like, what mm. do we do differently from those people? Mm. Some people are even more righteous than others. Don't go. God still kept you here. You're ungrateful. Hey. May the good Lord help us. Amen. May our grateful spirit let it be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, Amen. Uh, then he says, I miss our African praise and dance. I'm telling you, see, the Africans know how to praise God. Yay! Africans know how to praise God. See, I'm believing that David, eh? David was in this African setting. Now he danced, because I'm not sure, say, any other country if it dance dance to a rapper come over your skin because I don't think that rapper was just loosely tied. It be tied fine. David dance or shake his skin so rapper come out. I say, <laughs> David oh! woman say, now this, now this. Look at what he calls her. Where Look at what he calls her. Bit, the Holy Ghost came upon people. I said somebody had this white, I mean immaculate white and white that I saw in the rose for ground. I said, God, hey. I said, now you know, see, no one knows like I know what God has done for me. That's why I praise him the way I do. When me, I'm singing and dancing, eh? Find a place she don't want. If you never do, you not. If you see me so. Eh? I have every freaking reason to praise God. I have every kind of reason to dance. And it's in my heart. And it's in my heart, though. It's in my heart. So, 
we have a we have a reason every single day every moment we have a reason to praise god you do have a reason i mean look at, look at your family you're seeing some countries you're hearing some things that are happening in some countries you're hearing how some people are starving to death you can eat and eat and eat until you can even throw some i don't understand what else are you not seeing that god is doing for you there's some countries where some people are not even allowed to read the bible they're not even allowed to come together to fellowship you have time to fellowship hey what time to come and enjoy it on a card then we think we will not pray for me ah i'm preparing my dancing shoes so praise the lord i'm telling you i'm there in spirit Praise the Lord, praise the, praise the Lord, oh, praise the Lord, oh, praise the Lord. God is too good. God is too, too faithful. Let's come to his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with sound. Joyful noise, that's him. You are the great I am that I am. You're the beginning and the end. That's a joyful noise. You're the Alpha and Omega. You're my provider. You're my healer. Hey. hey. Uh, hey. Who is God to you? I will be content in every circumstance. You are Jared. You are enough. You're my Jared. I will be content. Yes, in every circumstance, you are Jared. You are enough. More than enough. Always enough. Forever enough. Every day. Always enough. Yes, you are my Jared. You are enough. You are Jared. We will be content. Yes, in every circumstance, because you are Jared. You are enough. See, God is more than enough. See, there is nothing there. Minister, I don't know about you. Me, I've been in the world. Nothing, so no, the day. Nothing. Princess. Princess, they're not born you the same day with me now. So before you wanted to enter, <laughs> I was already there. And 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 I and and princess, we cannot compare crazy. We will not brag about crazy. We cannot compare crazy. I can imagine. See, we have been there, and we can tell you. Confidently, oh, listen, that is why that is why when me I do my thing that I'm doing for my God now, me I don't have me nobody's time in the world though, because you don't even know nothing. Me, I, I'm not comparing with nobody, but nobody knows nothing about my story because all what I've said is still half of my story. So I have every reason like that. That me, me I'm even standing here like that, alive like that. My God, you know, when life comes to you, take you, you take knife, say, I'm, I'm done with night. With life, what are you talking about? So I have every reason like this. So I don't care what people say there. That's it. My family have given up on me. Oh. My mother say, uh, she neither sleep nor slumber. I'll be receiving prayer line, uh, pastor, all kind of things. I don't have any problem. Oh. Oh. We, we know what God has done for us. So we're not moved. Mr. Dennis said, Princess, we'll be done there before you. <laughs> yeah. You are becoming down. You are becoming down. I'm telling you, we all have been in the world and we know. So we know the difference. So if we're here telling you that there, there is a difference, there is this joy in Christ, there is this beauty in God. Eh? Believe yes, it. I, I, I don't want you to like when I was not born again, somebody could tell me this. Even though sometimes I knew people used to tell me I used to ignore it. But I'm telling you that, that uh, if you had known me before, you know that me, I was at Chakasara again, that was at Chakasara. And I'm telling you, then you should believe me now. Ah, like my, my own at Chakasara, that type of year three. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? I see that. <laughs> See, God saved us. He brought us out. Like he picked us up and brought us out to show for the great glory. God. So we're not doing this small, small. We need to do a small, small. 
when uh -huh. we're in the uh -huh. world, we're doing the world full time. As we did for uh -huh. God, we did do God full time. My answer on the promise I've written, I've signed it, contract. I cannot break it. I know God now, Prince. When I fumble in small my chastisement is not play play. So I cannot. Chocolate. You know the relationship where you get. You know how they say oh. the Bible that in the scripture that to whom much is given, much is required, Abi. What? So, so you know. You know I the know, work we get with God. I know when he's coming. I told you at 5 p.m. that I have uh, don't buy too much. Yeah. And I, I got know, it by 11 p.m. I got it. Got to see. No. That's it there. They show you perfect. For about three, three days after that, I will still touch my buttocks like, is it back to normal? No, <laughs> please. No. It's not uh, showing uh, perfect. Uh, uh. Say no. you. What, what did you, what did you, what were you thinking, you know? See, God is beautiful. When you have this relationship, like this really true personal relationship with god you enjoy christianity i say most of the times to people that the reason why we don't enjoy christianity is because we want to do one leg in one leg out i am saying that because i've been there when i just gave my life to christ at some point i was feeling like i needed to please my friends i was feeling like i have to be something else to my friends who are in the world and then be something else when i'm, I'm amongst christians it was a very, very hard. It was harder than just being an unbeliever, Sefo. I'm telling you, it is way harder being in the middle than just being an unbeliever or being a Christian. So just choose one. Ah, just choose you. you that one. was my question this morning. Whose side are you on, God or the world? That dangling in the middle like that will not work. It it's work. too much work, Princess. Too much work. Too you work. are there even to post something on, on Facebook. You are calculating. Who what are we will say that? What we will not say who that? Say what? What? Ma, me? Who do this one? Oh, all my platforms are connected. So whatever I post anywhere, I can just go on you all. I don't have no problem. There's no oh, follow me. Just go you. Go, 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 go. Oh, There's no mixing. Are you giving me oxygen? Are you giving me oxygen? That's See me back close. So. Ah, I'm, oh, I'm not mixing. When I was in the world, I was doing full time. If there's anything like overtime, I want to do overtime in God, because the time I've been wasting for the devil, eh, I need to catch up now that I'm in the Lord. I'm not joking, no. So I'm not even sorry that I'm serving God. I'm not even sorry that I'm preaching the gospel every day on my page, oh. You know, like I'm following me. It is somebody said, funny why, why are you people keep talking me? about that? Please, somebody said to me, else. somebody said to me, why do you keep saying that you have given your life to Christ? So we like that we're not also giving our own. I said, ah, if they you have given, join me and be talking of. about it now. Ah, 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 if you have given, then talk about it now. Princess, that I'll get married and hide it. Princess. For, for who it be? Huh? For who it be? Me. People get married want to have the best marriage in the world. And then me, I'll marry my own and hide. Ah, how? Blessing from ah. God. Say, God go bless me with a man after his heart. And I'll be ashamed of it. No. I see. Who says? We want to use me for his glory. You think it's my marriage too that he will not use to glorify himself. Ah. He's supposed to be coming down on our way, John. The Lord, eh? Hmm. When you do and undo, we go hear the news. All we go, they will go see. I said to somebody two days ago, it was recently, I said, me, I'm not killing my enemies again. No. Mm -mm. I'm praying. You would love to be my enemy. Why? Because I'm praying that you should live long. As long as I live, so you see what I'll become. You'll be watching. The Lord will be preparing a table before me in your presence. I know you kill you. I don't kill my enemies anymore. Please, all we, you go repent. Because you go so see the goodness of God in my life, eh? You just get for repent. Like, it, it's not even possible now that God will just be preparing a table before you in my presence every day. Your heart no, you know, go took your heart small so. So repent of God will use my life and glorify Himself, and I'm ready. Papa God, are they ready? Use me as you please. And it, it's 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 a glorious thing, and that's why we need to praise Him. That's why we need to glorify Him. That's how we need to honor Him. Imagine these people, though, Paul and Silas, they locked them up for the wrong reasons. They were not being guilty. These people went to prison, and all they thought about was praising God. What a way! What a way of ministry! What a way of ministry! See, no, because I'm thinking because a lot of times in this generation, everybody has grown up to I know my rights. 
I know my rights. Those people who have their rights, they have every right to be mad. They have every right to be angry. They have every right to call down fire and brimstone. But they say, no, no. we go praise God. Though. God big fast prison. Say, God don't give me platform for preach. I'm sure that's all it's in their mind. This one, they were always looking for the place, the next group of people to show God's glory. So they live for prison. Prison now, not that pulpit now. They fire on. Can we get to that place where we know that everything that God gives us is for his glory? Hey! People are praising. Only that God will help with. Joseph, whom God showed him his vision, show him vision. The vision stand and say they sell in a cellar. Did he not have every right? They lied about him when he went to prison. Did he not have every right? Come on now. Like he had every right to be angry. Say no. I get to do my papa and walk home. And within a day, within a day, somebody turned from being a prisoner to a governor, like the next biggest person in a whole country. Egypt, for that matter. And, and a they foreigner, I'm telling you. not any kind of thing. Mm -mm. Egypt in those days was not any kind of, any kind of place. Next in command to the biggest person in Egypt. Like, that's God for you. So don't be moved by all these people. When you want to serve God, serve God wholeheartedly. Mr. Denny says, God help us all. I'm telling you, God really needs to help us. Like, why? We need to learn to praise God. Though. We need to learn to praise and worship God. It says, for the Lord is great and the king above all God. He's the king of kings. He is the Lord of lords. Say, praise him with Psalms. Just tell God who he is. You're my provider. You're my lover. You're my healer. You're my restorer. Hey, my good shepherd. My, my, my Nigerian peace. people say, Kabi is see. Ah, thank God. Hey, my Jehovah overdue. My Jehovah come by Kai. Like, God is just too, too, too awesome. He is a great God. In his hands are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his. He made it. And his hands formed the dry land. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. Hey, God. We can kneel for you. We kneel before you. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. Let us have this reverence for God. Sometimes... We, we see these things and we want to take them in the literal sense. But when you when you come to a place where you just want to fellowship with God, you will know that this kneeling and bowing down is not just like the physical, like physically now you have to no. kneel and bow down. No, no, it's that, like no, no, no. That, that's what you told me. It's like that you start even from your heart. Yeah. If, if it doesn't start from there, that physical thing is nothing it's for nothing. you. Yeah. It's nothing. It's uh, nothing. You and when you reverse somebody, it shows on your face, princess. Oh, yeah. When you reverse somebody, it shows on your face. Before, before you even bow down, when, for example, when I see people go to greet the queen, for example, before they even bow down, you see the way their face is changing. I know. This, so before that glow. bowing down, you have already seen, yeah. You're so in the presence glow. of the Lord, my eyes are closed. I am like, ah, I'm already in that posture. I before know. I even do it, I'm already there. So I you know. might even forget, you might not even lie down or kneel down physically, but in your mind, you are already on the floor. You're already, too you're already too elsewhere. Too yeah. God. See, we need to understand how beautiful this thing is. When we truly connect, we really, really need to get it right. Oh my God. And it says, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if he will hear God's voice, harden not your heart as in the provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. Mm. He was here. Yes. Let him hear what the word of God is saying. No. It's not me mm. who is saying it. It's not mm. Minister Mark who is saying it. Mm. It's God who said it. Oh. That's it inside his word. If you take and it as provocation for you, oh, mm. are you sabi? if you take it as word and it touches your heart and you change, we oh, bless the name of the Lord. You will experience the blessings. 
Princess, one of the books I was studying during my recent retreat was a book of Jeremiah. Oh. And there was a place where Jeremiah went to prophesy and they got angry and they seized Jeremiah yeah. and they beat him up. And Jeremiah said, me, I'm just messenger in the rain. Like, come, I'm summarizing. I'm just messenger. That's the message. Whether you beat me or you kill me, or, message that, that message still stands. So you are hiding in your heart and beating me of me, oh, human God. being. Does that change the message? I'm telling if the Lord says repent, you don't repent, and you beat me and kill me, the, the rat will still follow the you. The rat will still follow you. That is why the people of Nineveh were so wise. They did not care yeah. about Jonas. They got the message Ooh. and acted Ooh. on the message. And see how they even Jesus see. said that those people will rise up. They will rise oh, yeah. up and we will still be there. So we are here sometimes, princess. We, we, we go, somebody talks to us. We are not even listening to what they're saying. We are judging their appearance. We are judging the way and they are standing or the way they are sitting. Oh, mm. We are focused on all of those things. Is that what God wants you to hear? I remember one of those times. Oh, do you know me? Do you know judgment? So I went to this. I, I don't know whether I went before a crusade or was what. My God, the girl came in. That's how I was so experiencing. Like, you know that kind of power? Like you're really enjoying the decision. I don't know how my eyes just blink. So I went on and like, I think she was moving on the pulpit. She was moving from left to right or something like that. And then I was sitting on one side. So she was singing and I was experiencing the presence of my sister. I went on, so bam, my eye just blink for some anklet. I just disconnect. I seen, I, hey. I started struggling and saying, Lord, help me break. So now instead of enjoying the connection that I had, I disconnected because of one little thing. God will use these people. As long as, as these people are availing themselves, he will use them. I've gotten to that place where God explains to me and tells me that some of those things, it's not like he bypasses them or he overlooks them. In the, he will say in the end, some people will say, I can't set out demons in your name. I baptize in your name. You say, depart from me, I know you not. So it's God who is dealing with those people, with those things, not me. So I should collect the message. <sighs> the thing was, I mean, like, I will struggle now to have to re reorganize, to reconnect. Oh my God, you know, it's deal. It will, will size up people, who will check them out. Whether their portfolio, they correct, whether they don't, you don't weigh them, whether they correct for fit preach for you. You know, see me my back yesterday when they born you, when you can preach for me. I remember oh, when God was oh. giving me messages to go and give to me. Way I know first that time I know be even trying to pray for up to 15 million or 30 minutes. Ma go give intercessor, mommy intercessor, ma go give mommy intercessor message. Hey God. You step now, wow. Me who? <laughs> As I don't read so my meaning that says on them, he say he gave personal relationship for God. So that's why they talk so much for one corner. I confused her. I said, God, is it that me? I have a, I'm having a problem or something. You're sending me to go and tell somebody that something that she's doing is not okay. She's telling me that she has a personal relationship with you and I understand. Like I don't understand. <laughs> God said you have done your part. See, sometimes eh, if we look at the messenger, the one who is carrying the message, eh, we go despise the message. I will go miss the blessing. You know? In despising yeah. the message, you will miss the blessing that comes with the message. In despising the messenger. Yeah, yeah. you know, princess, one of the one of the sermons I had to um, listen to and study during this retreat was from some young person of all the five uh, teachers, or oh, he was the youngest, right? But that is where the most message came from. Can you like, imagine? Like, I swear, if I had even, I say, I mean, younger, like my son. Oh, no, 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 that's my son. Ah, no, 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 you know? And so the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord sometimes even puts, allows those things to happen to see how disposed our hearts are, how much we have learned from scripture. Oh, yes. And sometimes that's the first thing you will see, that person. But if you dare go beyond that person, you'll get the message. Get but if you message. don't, Go beyond that person, then you will not get the message. You will what it. I got, what what I got from a place. Had I stopped just at the at the entrance and gone back, because the first thing I saw was discomforting. I would have missed everything have else missed inside everything that place. Else. Yes. That's true. So it's very important though, that we had in our hearts. Yeah. Yes, so. 
we should not have in our hearts. Even when sometimes correction, because today in our generation, every most people call correction judgment. You want to correct somebody for something wrong that they're doing, you no? Know? Correction, oh, parents, they used to correct me, and the way that they whoop you, they would so toast you some, some canes. Sometimes our parents used to just look at us one kind of way, you know, say, me say, go ass. You know, say, me say, come off a day. They didn't need to talk. It's like we understood sign language. There were different kinds of eyes that they would look at us. When they look you the eyes, so you know, say, the eye mean, I say, go for room. When they look you the eyes, so you know, say, your own dog do today. Today, uh, you go see, you go see smoke. <laughs> You just can't go. You have to surely go and just sit in your room and be interceding because the way they will do you. I, but today, somebody is doing something wrong. You want to correct the person. The person saying you're judging them. Ha. So now it's like we don't. We cannot correct children anymore. We cannot correct people anymore because you want to correct. When some people come to me that judge me, I say me. I've not told you that you go to hell. Me. I'm just saying that this and this and this is not good. Sometimes I even bring the, the science version of it. Why it's not good for you scientifically and then I connect my Bible too. Because all, all the things that come out from science, eh, they be done already there for Bible. Science not discover no new things. Science just collected from the Bible and was telling us and making us feel like it's something that they discovered. Bible be done already talk and things like from, 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 from. The Bible is the most authentic the most perfect i mean the book that has every every i mean like every i'm not excluding everything you need it has it so let no man just deceive you let nobody deceive you they and the bible says that the word of god comes to chastise to correct to learn to teach to so Let's not be ready to take only the one that comes to pamper us. And then we don't want to take the one that comes to chastise us. We don't want to take the one that comes to correct us. We don't know. We have to take all of them. We don't choose some side, leave some side. We have to take all of them. Because we need all of them to grow. We need them all. And it says, um, when your fathers, okay, what is that word? One verse eight or ten. Yeah, verse 8. It says, Hiding not your heart, that's in the provocation. Nine. Oh, verse 9, yeah. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work, 40 years long was I grieved with this generation and said, It is a people that do err in their heart, and they have not known my ways. Ay, God. 40 years. I can imagine what well, I, I can imagine what God was going through all that time. And he was still like how the father. Of the prodigal son was coming out every day and hoping that this is son will sit in and come back every single time this man the father of the prodigal son kept hoping that the child will come back and for 40 years god was waiting he was feeling hurt he was feeling grieved he was feeling pained but he was still waiting that it's come to repentance who will not want to see Serve that kind of God because there are gods that you make a mistake that they kill you. <coughs> well, I've heard some of these people now who are in societies who are in all these things. You make mistakes that they kill you. You don't give the sacrifice that you have to give, they will slaughter you, they will take it by force. <laughs> but you have God that, that is giving you, He knows that there's a possibility that you might not even accept what He's saying. But he still gives you the ability to choose. Now he creates you. He creates you, giving you the ability to choose. And he knows that even in that ability, you might choose against him. Ha! They want to save Nau now. You don't save the God, you want to save Nau. No, honestly speaking, because I didn't understand me. God is this loving. He loved you while you were yet a sinner. That's already uh, is beyond anything. It's beyond anything else. And God is still like this. So he has not come because he's still waiting for many more people to repent. And some people are laughing and mocking him. Do not count this foolishness. So it's not foolishness. It's just that God is still waiting that many more should come to repentance. He's not slack concerning his promises. So. It's not gone. 
He wants mm. a lot more people to repent. He wants you to make it right. He wants you to have a firm stand. He wants you to hold on to your crown so that nobody will take it away from you. That's what God wants. So that's why he has not come yet. It's not because he's slack concerning his promises. I said, are you being serious? Are you serious right now? God is not slack concerning his promises. He wants all of us to come to repentance. That's what he desires. And he says, unto whom I swear in my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. Did he not still carry them to the land of milk and honey? <laughs> and then you say, God need a pamper. People are sick. They need help. <laughs> you do him so bad, so, so bad, he's so grieved. He waits for you for 40 years. You're still just turning around, 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 around. Deserve to be punished. He turns around and says, You know, go enter a rest. Then finally, finally, if you can find a way, you enter the rest. What do you want to do? May God can die a second time. Like, what do you want? Because it's it's just it's just weird. It's just weird. When we cannot thank God, we cannot appreciate God, we can hey. sometimes it's, it's so hard though, because me when I was not um grateful to God, I was grateful to my father because to me I felt like all the things that were happening to me was done by my father up until God corrected my mindset, you know. So at least I was even grateful to my father. But some of us eh, we not even know to admit eh, being grateful. So Please, don't, so remind me grateful that day. don't remind me. Even they would fear we. They would fear we treat up because not be they would teach you that kind of style. <laughs> I said they would look you so, so self fear. Say God no, the one me I fear the one. <laughs> not be my not be my student oh. I don't know play lender kind of gracefulness. No, honestly, because. I see some people, eh, the first part where it used to confuse me, I said, they will not even acknowledge receipt. One will never even reach a place of saying thank you. They don't receive the two you send. They never even acknowledge receipt. Before you wait, thank you. Why do you have a growth for your hair, growth for your chin, growth for all places you are feeling? <laughs> hey, it is well. God. We thank you for being you. We thank you for loving us this much. Like you are a faithful father. Hey, it is well with the righteous. I say, mm. may the good Lord help us. Honestly, it, 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 Amen. It, it, God who loves us. And when you learn how to praise God and sing unto God and worship God, it becomes a part of you. It becomes a part and parcel of you. Mr. Mark, when we started praising God, because I don't know about you, but Neil, when I started praising God, it wasn't easy. Like, like it, was, it was not just a natural thing to me. But now it feels like it's a normal thing. It feels like, you know that kind of thing, like when you don't do something, you feel like a part of you is out. A part of your body has come out. That's how it is. When I don't praise God, when I don't thank God. Like, that's how it is, though. Mm. You have thank God for the weirdest of things. God for some really weird things. People will just be like, "We get it. We don't know to be wrong." You cannot understand. You cannot understand. You don't know where I'm coming from. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know what God has saved me from. So you don't understand when I'm thanking God the way I'm thanking. When I'm appreciating God the way I'm appreciating you, you will not get it. You will not get it at all. It is well with the righteous. So, guys, this is where we're wrapping up with the chapter right over today. It's here. Eh? Tomorrow is Psalms 9 to 6. I'm hoping that you all read before time. And let's come back here by the grace of God tomorrow. And have a great time together. And yes. Princess. Okay. Yes, Mr. I've already Ma prepared. 
prepared. I've already prepared my dress for tomorrow. You you like to always advise I'll us. Still. Thank you. So tell the people, tell the people, tell the people. You know the drill. Tell the people, please. It's, it's not good to go to the. It's not good to go to the house of God late. Oh, house of fellowship. Oh. And, and secondly, don't use as, as an excuse. My dress is twisted, or I don't know what to wear, and la 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 la. Do it today. Today. Before today. you sleep at, at most. So that tomorrow morning you're just on time no, and it's everything. Story. It's not good. No, it's mm. yesterday that touch. I beg. Even now, now, like you're listening to us now, eh? You're surely listening to us in your room. Or in the panel, I beg. You carry a phone work and go for room. You go fire close back. <laughs> <laughs> God name beg you. No, <laughs> like I remember one of my friends, she was so mad at me. <clears throat> I think that was when I was in Ghana. So she asked kids, she asked like I think then she had like two kids or something. And I was like, but why are you always coming late to church? It's not really a good thing. I don't know how to explain it, but I just know that there is this unusual blessing when you come to church in time, when you keep to time and all those kinds of things. So please try as much as possible to come. He said, hey, I cannot understand. She has children. Hey, when I have children. I... So the, the Holy Spirit just put, put, pushed me on it. I don't even know how it just came. It just came, boop, 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 boop. Does she go to work? Ask her, does she go to work? Yeah. Do the children go to school? Yes. Then, okay. What's the time to go to work? It's earlier than church. Do they go to work late or to school late? No. So how do you do it? Chance. Like, try and go to that work play like three it? times whether you still have you know, a job. On on weekdays, it's not like you don't have kids on weekdays. It's like it, do you have your kids only on weekend? <laughs> you have your kids only on Sunday, Abby. You have them all week long. And the question thing is that on 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 weekends, like the Sunday, you're not preparing their snack like lunch, 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 because you're the one bringing them to church. And you're not staying in church like the entire day, like they would in school. So you bring them back before you guys will have to eat in the house and all those kinds of things. But you make their snack, you make your husband's lunch, you make your lunch, you do everything. You all go to work and school in time. And that's like some, sometimes it's like two hours earlier than church time. But you still go to church late and your excuse is that you have children. But you have these children even within the week. But you don't go to work late because they will sanction you or they will query you or because you lose your job. Say Jesus is not here particularly to query you for coming late to church, Rabbi. That's the way your blessing slow to no vexing. No provoke. One woman says, we go and beat God in prayers. But one long blessing. When God beep you to him, bless him, no vex. <laughs> when, you, when you beep him, vex, bless him, no vex. I'm like, huh? Beep him, bless him. So that, beep, that bless him, just toss up, then come up. <laughs> I said, but I beg, let me not be a beeper in your presence. Let me be a caller so that my blessings will also be a call kind of blessing, not be beeping. <laughs> Amen. Please tell so people, prepare your things for service today. Prepare it now. Today is Saturday. Don't give that excuse. It's not worth it. Sometimes we are giving those excuses in our hearts. In our hearts, we know our conscience is telling us that this excuse in no whole water. You you know in your heart. And God too knows. He knows that, that it's that you know that that excuse that you are giving is not working. In it work. Your conscience is bigger. If 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 your conscience can police you like that, God is bigger. So we cannot be giving those excuses. It's not working. Go early to church. Mr. Dennis said me too. <laughs> yes, so prepare our bag. Everybody prepare your clothes now. Nobody is going late to church. You cannot come to this life and go late to church. See, God is watching you. God is watching you. Amen. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Today, today we're going to pray that God is going to give us a grace to have the heart to be able to thank him, to be able to appreciate him. That is going to relieve the, 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 the grace to be grateful. He's going to release the grace to be grateful upon our lives. Let that attitude of gratitude come upon us. Let it become a part and parcel of our lives. Let it be not, not be a thing that we're struggling 
learn to appreciate Yes, sir. Sorry, princess. But before you pray, just remember to tell your audience, God is fearful in praises. When you praise him, the things he does are always above and beyond. Yeah. Secondly, he inhabits the praises of his people. He comes to collect it himself. Can you imagine that kind of direct connection? Ah. Easy access. Ah. Consult. For, consult for me can make God answer your matter. Make God different. He does not share his glory with nobody. So when you're praising and worshiping him, he comes to inhabit it. He comes to collect it by himself. And who, in which scenario will God come? The presence of God will be in a place. Things don't begin to happen. It's not possible. You have to learn to praise and thank God. Let's pray. Father, we come before your throne of praise, O oh Lord. We pray that you release upon each and every one of your children all over the world, O oh God. Father, the grace to be grateful, O oh God. The grace to be able to worship and honor you, O oh God. Because you deserve it. We were created for worship. That is the purpose for which we were created in the first place, O oh God. Father, teach us, O oh God. Show us how, O oh God. Empower us and enable us to be able to praise and worship you. You deserve all our praise. You deserve all our worship. You deserve all our honor. You deserve all our thanksgiving. Father, you said we should enter your gate with thanksgiving and your courts with praise. Father, teach us, oh God. Teach us how to do that, oh God, with all of our hearts, oh God, so that we will receive the blessings that accompany that particular action, oh God. Father, we are totally and completely grateful. We are totally and completely grateful because we know you are God who answers prayers. If there is a man to pray, we know there is a God to answer. So, Lord, we know you've answered us, O oh God. Release upon us the grace, O oh God, that is necessary for us to be a people of gratitude, O oh God, to be a people who worship you in spirit and in truth. Because we know that this is the hour that has come where worshipers have to worship you in spirit and in truth. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Because we know you always hear and answer us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I always get to say I love you so very much. But God loves you way, way more. Get to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all our updates. Each time we upload a new video or we get to go live. Our audio Bible is on TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. Don't forget to listen so that you grow your faith. Minister Mag has her page. Um, love and and healing, love and healing, healing ministry international. Please check out her pages. She does morning devotion, she does evening devotion, she does praise and worship. She does, yeah, she puts out exercises as well to help you and, and ginger you to keep fit. Keeping fit is good, it's important for you. Yeah, I keep fit too. I'm not losing weight. You guys should not freak out. I keep fit, just keeping fit. <laughs> He says, okay. go, go. Tomorrow, go, please. Go. It has to be um Psalm six ninety six. Don't miss out. Minister Mark, over to you. Closest in thank God for us. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come before you to thank you. Thank you, Father God, because you've put it in our hearts to submit ourselves to you this way and to walk mm -hmm. in total obedience. And yes, Father God, you give us so much reason to praise you as we go on this journey. Father God, we pray that this not be only for us, our experience, but this be the experience for so many people, yes. that we find contentment in serving you this way. Yes. Not just serving you, but serving our bread and Father God. How else can we show you that we love you if we cannot love one another? Father God, may we be so contented to the extent where we don't compare ourselves with one another. Oh, yes. We don't compete with one another oh, yes. as far as service to you is concerned. Oh, yes. Father God, you are a great God. You are a God to all, Father God, to the babies as to the fathers, yeah. Father God. May we Father. not despise one another because we think either we are too old or we are too advanced in the faith or we know it all. Oh, no, Father, you despise the proud. Father God, you bless the you bless the humble. Father God, you are give of so much good things to everybody. You cause your sun to shine on everyone. The rain falls on everyone. You are so good to the point where you don't even want anybody to perish. Oh my goodness. Father God, it's so beautiful to behold. We hallow your name. Father, just bless us, Father. Bless us in our going now, that's in our coming in. Bless us, Father. Give us the grace 
to not only pray for ourselves, but to pray for one another and to pray for the advancement of your kingdom. Father God, because it's such a good thing. Holy Spirit, always have your way. You give her of wisdom and knowledge and faith and healing and miraculous powers and all other things which are just so good with all these beautiful fruits in our lives. I invite you this morning, this afternoon, this evening, wherever we find ourselves, because we do it all for your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 And amen. Until tomorrow. Ciao, ciao. One, 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 one. <laughs> Happy weekend, people. See you tomorrow. God bless you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.